after all. Yeah, sure. Another good reason not to lend a... I mean, <laughs> not to help me out. Great <laughs> Walker. Uh... Even an automaton deserves a little compassion. I have just been savagely assaulted. Oh, I can feel one of my spasms coming on. I am on the verge of a clockwork breakdown. And all you do is accuse me of being selfish. Okay, take a rest, Oscar. You're not much use without your hands anyway. You're hardly any use anyway. <laughs> With or without your hands, sir. Anything else you remember, Oscar? I have told you everything. Sorry for skipping that. He had nothing to say. How old do you think your attacker was? How old? Such monsters are ageless. I tell you, my wheel work froze with fear. <laughs> I think he must have been an older man. Someone with a soft spot for automatons. An expert who knows how to dismantle a pair of hands with a pair of pliers. I'm afraid I don't quite follow you. You think it's Hans. And what if it was Hans Varlberg himself? Kate Walker, in spite of the respect in which I hold you, permit me to say that such an idea is stupid. Wow. Hans Vorlberg, my attacker. A father would never attack his offspring. Get a grip on yourself. I should point out in all modesty that my attacker must have had muscles to overcome an automaton of my build. Hmm. Maybe you're right there, Oscar. I do apologize. <laughs> Do you know if your attacker stole anything else? As soon as he'd swiped my hands, he ran away. Well, at least that's one good piece of news. The train's still intact. What do you mean, intact? I am the train engineer. It was designed for me, and I for it. By maiming me in this brutal manner, the barbarian has also mutilated our locomotive. Without me and my hands, we're never going anywhere. Sure, okay. Could you maybe tell me how the train works, then? That is strictly forbidden, Kate Walker. <laughs> there is only one engineer, and that train engineer is me. I am sure you don't have a license or authorization or even a deputy engineer's permit. <laughs> Do you really think it's the right moment to get wrapped up in red tape, Oscar? Yes. Regulations are regulations, Kate Walker. Well, what if I told you about a regulation in which right. when an automaton's hands... Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, <laughs> She's... Kate Right, Walker. I'm done. I'm and done. I'm me. going home. Screw this. I'm going home, I'm punching Dan in the face, and I am quitting my job, because, oh my god. Alright, dude. I've got the pliers, now I can cut that hole. Cut the hole in the wall. I believe. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going back to the box. I mean, by the box, I mean the, the spot where the hole in the wall is. Come on, Kate. She's so safe walking down those stairs. She always backs up down them. It's just so we're looking for a light, and we're heading back to that broken wall. Looking for a light, heading back to the broken wall. I assume we'll find a light in the room or a key for this door. Ooh, goodness gracious! Goodness gracious me! Come on, Kate. Let's get moving. All right, everybody take a nap while we wait for Kate to walk over the stairs and then climb them and then get to the top. Oh, okay, we're there. We're done. Move forward, please. Done. Look at how quick that was. Why can't other cutscenes be that quick? Like this one. And this. Nope. Nope, I don't... Just jump across, okay? I wanted to look at inventory while you were jumping across. Kate is OSHA approved. <laughs> Do you think there's ever a time at which being a... <laughs> What's the wrong thing to do? Uh, and Levis is now playing Star Trek Online. Alright. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, just magically. Oh, no, I was like, I just magically cut myself that way in there. <laughs> it's, it's achieved, it's achieved, uh, um, uh, uh, sentience. 
<laughs> Arivo has achieved sentience. It's the ultimate aid in... Uh, we're looking for a light, I think. It's the ultimate aid in point-and-click adventures. Go, Kate. All right, we're looking for a light. I don't know if... Oh, there's something over here. Ooh, a sp that's a spark plug? A little spark plug thing? Okay. Is there anything else here that we need? Little gears. Explosives. Explosives are always good. Anything? Nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing. Alright, let's back up here. We can look out this window. There's a handprint. Huh. Looks like something is messed up on the screen here. I'm assuming that that's a moving section. Spark plug. Can you use a spark plug to break glass? Uh, according to The Walking Dead, yeah, the ceramic from the spark plug you can use to break glass. Nothing? Nothing. Let's try to use the... No? No. Okay. All right, so we can't do anything with that yet. Uh, let's go look out this door, this window. Anything? Don't smoke. See, no smoking. No smoking. It's true, that works. Uh, yeah, well, it's on The Walking Dead, so of course it works. You know? Anything over here? Nope, that was that. So I've got a spark plug. What would we use a spark plug for? Something down in the mine, maybe? Oh. Can I go through this door? I can't go that way. Why can't you go that way? Anything up here? No. Oops, that's the look out there. Such dramatic music. Because zombies are real. It's true. It's true. Have you ever looked at how people look sometimes in the morning when they wake up? Especially before they've had coffee? That's fucking zombie. Alright, uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, out the window, I guess. So we've gotten a spark plug. We've gotten through the broken wall, so I can cross that off. We've got a spark plug, and I don't know what to do with that. I guess we can go back up to the control box. And we can head back down into the mines. And see if the spark plug goes down there somewhere. Oh, of course. Just see if the spark plug goes on here anywhere. No? No. All right, so go back. Yep. And go it out. There's nothing down here, right? I didn't miss like a little lamp or something. It lights up. Looks like that lights up, but... <laughs> That's the most dramatic instance of being unable to go through a door that I've ever observed. Oh, I can't go through the door! Come on, Kate down the freaking stairs and now we get to walk again for like eight hours before we get to where we're going walking walking or running we already know she can't go down there well no 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 just go that way Kate just a waste of your time a waste of your time Oh, let's go back down into the mines, see if Dan can call us again. I kind of want to call him and give him a piece of my mind. Be like, hey, douche, what the hell is your problem? All right, so we'll go back down into the mine and see if I can use the spark plug down there somewhere. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. 
Yeah, duh. Spark plug. What did I say? A fuse? Fuse, spark plug, whatever. Whatever. Same difference, right? Whoa. Dang. That is quite a spark plug. Fuse, spark plug. The lights are on. Da da da. And they are going down into the mines. Da 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 da. And there is light, and we are not gonna die. Da 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 da. There is a rat. It's so su super cool. It ran away, even though it didn't have an animation to do it. Okay, there's a TV. All right, uh, so we are down here in the mines. Let's check some things out here. Okay, so TV, we go this way. No. Uh, head this way. Oh, nope, yes, yes, okay. Looks like we found our way around. Nothing in here, nothing else. Okay, we'll just head over there. Let's pull that lever first. This? I don't need box. to do that. You don't need to do that. Fine. Fine, then. Don't do it. Okay, Kate? God. It's a good song. Uh, there's a camera. That'll do, Jay. That'll do. That'll do, Jay. Alright, so we can go that way. There's a safe. Gigantic safe thing. Looks like a gun camera. That's a big fucking door. The door is locked. Yes, it is. What is this thing? Whoa. Well, that was easy enough. I was expecting a, hey, you have to jump through 18 hoops in order to unlock this door. Is that the way out? I think that that's the red light. I think that'll take us to the red light district. Let's, uh... Let's not... Let's not try it yet. Let's, uh, walk around this way first. Check these things out. Wow, so many places to go, so few places to not go. Oh, what's that? Uh, Vorken flicken flocken. Uh, I can't quite... Oh, oh, hey, we're looking for a screwdriver. Screwdriver, people. Uh, yes. Uh, will metal, sh metal shears work? No, metal shears won't work. We're looking for a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Um, so we need a screwdriver, uh, screwdriver as a key, as a key. I should have written down the thing, the box, the box thing about the spark plug, you know, and then I wouldn't have been thinking about it. Hey, what's that? I feel like somebody's hiding up there, like two little eyes peering through the little gold ring. Uh, I don't see anywhere else to go. Let's see if Kate will go up there. Uh, I, I, I can't, I can't traverse these stairs, I'm sorry. These stairs are untraversable. <laughs> deleted Link. That's funny. The Link is deleted. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Hey. Women can use quarters, too. Maybe she doesn't have quarters. Maybe she's not allowed to carry cash around. Maybe Dan doesn't let her carry cash around. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, he's Dan. Oh, that is a gigantic pipe organ. Well, it's definitely pipes in the shape of a pipe organ. Oh, that's an automaton. I wonder if he has... He's probably got Oscar's hands. Do you have Oscar's hands, you jerk? Those look like Oscar's hands and a screwdriver. Wait, do you, can you play? Play. Oh, and locked, look at that. I wanna see, I wanna see the automaton play the organ. I want the organ to play. I probably have to go wind it up somewhere. You sit here. I'll be back. Let's go check out over here. Nothing? That is a lot of pipes. Hmm. Alright, so we found the screwdriver. 